So, um, can you load uh, the latest uh, MK3S Plus firmware on your Prusa clone? The answer is yes. Um, it does work just fine. I just loaded it up. It's printing great. I don't see the actual need for it, but it is a little bit more compatible with OctoPrint. Uh, with the older firmers, maybe if you hit cancel, I think it may have took a minute or two, but with the newer firmers, I mean, it should have fixed those kind of issues. Um, as far as just printing itself, I, I don't think you need the firmware upgrade, but I did it anyways. I just wanted to see uh, how well it would print. Um, so I got it upgraded to the latest firmware as of today, and uh, everything working fine, you know. So very good quality. Uh, it's been about three days since I've been using the clone. It's printing absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't see pretty. I see zero, absolutely zero differences uh, between the original and the uh, clone here. So I ordered another one. They're having a sale at Fistec. Um I think it's like twenty percent off. So I would de de definitely get one. It's like. 300 bucks or something, 279. I mean, it's a steal, and I would actually, I would make sure get uh, E3D original hot end. That's the only thing I changed, and it's performing beautifully. Um, definitely in work colors. Um, yeah, definitely worth it, and you could put your own colors. I'm also working on uh, a couple different things. I'm working on a um, uh, rat rig soon this week. I gotta finish my Voron. But yeah, that firmware uh, is compatible. This is pretty much a clone, but you could use MK3S Plus parts, use the MK3S firmware, and you should be good to go. Have a great day.